Right then. Okay, as promised, um, I've primed the wings, hinged the ailerons, um, and yeah, it's, um, what can I say? I think um, the proof's in the pudding. Um, priming wise, I, I did a test piece in one of the um, failed um, casts, and uh, for that test piece, I just, all I did was um, just clean the surface with um, the wiping alcohol um, to degrease it and then sprayed it with the um, grey primer, the light grey primer. Um, what I found was the actual primer scratched off really easily. I mean, it'll scratch off here if you actually scratch quite hard. Um, but with that, it actually scratched off quite hard, um, quite easily. So all I did was on, on the actual finished wings was I um, just lightly sanded um, surfaces with 800 grit sandpaper um, just to key it on the on the one wing. And with the other wing, I used a um, wire wool just to key the surface, and that that worked fine. But in both instances, that worked fine. Um, like I say, you can, if you scrape, you, you can remove the, um, the primer. Um, I think the only thing, other thing I'd change is when, you, when I um, glue the two, the two bits together with the Gorilla Glue, is to key the um, surfaces with some sandpaper or wire wool as well. Um, because it's very glossy when you first start off. I've still got a few little bits of filling that needs doing um, on the leading edge. Um, I actually dropped one of these. Um, Put before I put the air on it, I dropped it right on the on the tip. Um, I'm trying to see which one it is. I think it's this one actually. Yeah, um, the left wing. Um, it landed right on the tip before the air was on, and it broke the tip off. Um, and then um, there was a crack. I just split the um, gorilla glue up there, so it dropped on a concrete floor, basically like that, um, from about waist height. Um, and like I said, the only damage was just a, a bit of the tip over here broke off and um, it cracked along here. And like I say, on future ones I'll definitely um, use the rubbing alcohol to degrease it and then um, really rough up the surface um, with some uh, wire wool before sandwiching the two together. So, um, weight, weight wise, the air alarm on. Um, Fortunately, they actually weigh different <laughs> amounts. Um, this wing, that's a, it's the right hand wing um, that you saw us doing the, the moulds and the plugs for, um, that came in at 26 grams. And the left hand wing, which is the first one I've done, is slightly heavier, 28 grams. So that's two grams heavier. Um, I'm not really sure where that two grams is. Um, it might just be that I, you know, I, I in my pour, um, I clamped it up or maybe poured a little bit more um, of the foam and therefore go denser um, denser foam which uh, sort of accounts for the weight but um, as far as it is it'll, it's more than good enough for, for our needs. So hopefully we're good with the wings. Um, might have made a tidier job with the air lungs, but yeah, it's just more of a prototype this one is. We'll see if we can get to fly. Um, and I think, you know, the, the, the idea what I used was um, some really thin packaging um, acetate or one of those plastics. I think it was from a donut case or something like that for the hinges. And it's worked well, but um, ideally I'd want to actually mount the hinge into the air line when I'm casting. And then all I have to do is worry about it is just um, cutting into the, the, the some mountain edge um, here uh, for the other part of the air line. But no, that they worked, um, they, they come out really, really well. Right, so, um, oh yeah, the other, what I'm showing you, the wings. Printed some, I can actually see them, I'll have to zoom in, some control horns. Um, Uh, these are printed in clear plastic um, on a new printer I have. Um, it's a Form 1 uh, Plus. It's an SLA printer, so it's a different um, printing technology. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about a completely new workflow for me. Um, but yeah, I'm getting my head around how it all works. Um, so obviously, that, that control horn will go on there for the server. 
Um, I mean, you can see the detail on that's absolutely amazing. I'll put it on there, maybe see it a little bit better. Um, absolutely amazing detail and very, very strong. You know, when I say very strong, I mean it's strong in the sense that you ain't going to get the delamination along the, um, the layer height. Um, you know, it's quite flexible. You know, I need to do a lot more experimenting with it, but early indications that, you know, I'm really, really happy with it. So, there's the wings uh, next to the uh, plastic model. You can see the scale. Uh, so we're about, I don't know, an inch and a half bigger on wingspan, I think, in the end. Um, but no, they're done and ready to finish. Um, the other thing I've been printing, and we're working on rather, is um, with a new printer, is a new um, shroud for the EDF unit. Um, done quite a few tests. Uh, more as I wanted something to um, experiment with, um, rather than print arbitrary uh, bits. Or, you know, I chose to print something for this project. Um, and um, so far, the you know the results are really really promising. Um, you know, I need to get used to this new workflow. Um, and again, I had to des redesign parts so they would be uh, designed for this sort of process rather than the the other process I was using, the FFM um, type process, where this is a, um, a laser sintering, not sorry, laser stereolithography um, process, SLA. Um, and it prints with a laser in a resin um, rather than a extrusion filament. So yeah. Um, Strength-wise, very, very promising. Really looking forward to having a go at um, some rotors, um, some rotors with it. I think, I mean, straight, straight off, um, the cleanup time is going to be next to nothing now. Um, before something like this, I spent quite a lot of time um, sanding at the inside to get it perfectly smooth. Um, this will still need some sanding, um, but it's only going to be minimal. You know, I'm not really sanding. I am sanding some layer, some height, some layer type artifacts out um, but nowhere near um, I would do with a filament type uh, printer um, and the detail and the precision you can print with it is just amazing um, try to zoom a bit more hopefully that's all in focus <laughs> you can see the shroud there I'm actually, be, I'm actually able to put a, a, a full aerofoil shape now on the, um, the stators um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to um, experimenting a bit more with, with it. Um, there's another one. Just, uh, I think this was just printed basically on the a version of the um, FFM type um, printer with the filament on the Macabot. Um, and again, that's printed really, really well. The only thing is the um, I redesigned the the stators with an aerofoil on. I've made them too thin at the on the, on the trailing edge, so. On this version, I just thickened up the, the trailing edge just to give it a little bit more meat. Um, but no, um, so I've got, there's quite a few design iterations I've gone through. Um, nothing I'm 100% happy with, but um, I'm really looking forward to all the new things I can do do with the um, this type of printing. <coughs> right then, so we've um, come to the end of this series. Um, I honestly didn't think it was going to take so long, <laughs> um, but I've gone into quite a lot of detail in them. I hope you found them useful. Um, there's a whole bunch of people I need to thank, really. Um, the guys on RC Groups. Um, and I'll put some links into uh, builds and projects I found quite, you know, drawn quite a lot of inspiration from. Um, there's Brett with his Electrolyte uh, project, and there's um, also an Australian um, guy who goes with the tagline of ABB um, on RC Groups. And I'll put a link on to the work he's done on um, using urethane foams um, for making you know, large glider wings. Um, so, you know, you know, those are the kind of people you know, I really need to thank and I would like to thank um, for taking time to share um, their experiences. Um, and the last person, probably the wife, putting up with a mess really, um, in the house while I've been videoing these. Um, I hope you found them useful. 
um, do subscribe if you want to follow the um, the Hunter project. So the next bit of the, the project would be to um, print the moulds for the fuselage um, and cast those, and then we're pretty close to being able to um, test fly it and see if it'll fly. Okay then, um, hopefully chat with you all again soon, and thanks again for watching.